Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose and today we're going to be talking about The Odor of Chrysanthemums written by D.H. Lawrence. Now, before I go into summary and analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, The Order of, uh, the Order of Chrysanthemums by D.H. Lawrence. Um, very interesting work here. Um, we meet this woman by the name of Elizabeth Bates, and she is a stay-at-home mother. She has two kids, um, a son and a daughter, and she is pregnant, and there's a child on the way. Uh, and her husband, right, by the, her husband, um, by the name of Walter, he works in the mines, and pretty much he dies in the mines, and, um... Yeah, he's dead, and pretty much she has to deal with all of this. Um, they bring the body home. Um, you know, throughout the story, it's very sad, very gloomy. Chrysanthemums, for me, whenever I see chrysanthemums in a story, uh, whenever I see them um, in a book, whatever they're in, these flowers usually remind me of death, of decay and dying. And the the um, reality of chrysanthemums are so present Offenders work. They're just so everywhere that you're like, oh man, something bad's about to happen. Um, and yeah, and something bad does happen. The husband dies, and the woman, you know, the the man's mother comes in to tell her the news, and this is pretty much really horrible for Elizabeth, because uh, now she has three kids, um, two who are alive and one that's on the way, and she has to figure out a way to take care of them and. You know, especially during the time period that this was written, you know, but women stayed at home and the men worked and to be a pregnant woman with a dead husband and a family that you have to support is not easy. Um, they bring the body to her home and she has a lot of, uh, of reflections. First, she has to uh, clean the body, um, dress it, get it unclothed and dress it. And she has so many different ideas that run through her head. Uh, many contemplations about life and how she had argued with the man, with her husband, how they've had fights, how, you know, they came together and made love and had their children. You know, she she's looking at this body that once was her husband, but now it's just a dead body. And she's thinking about all that, you know, how could this be my husband, this lifeless fleshy corpse you know she's examining the warmthness the coldness the temperature of it she's washing this body this is a, a body that she'd shared her body with um the face that she's kissed uh, the, the 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 being that that is the father of her children um they they shared a home they built a home together they built a life together um this was her flesh, you know, they were one, and now it's just her and, you know, this corpse, um, so she, she goes through some deep reflections about her life, her marriage, um, her existence, what does this mean now that he's dead, the separation between them two, um, in many ways, you know, it's the death of her marriage. The marriage is over. He's dead. I mean, there's a lot that she has to go through within one night. She has to grieve. She has to worry about money and how she's going to support her three kids and how she's going to pay the bills and um, how her marriage is over, how her love life with this man is over and what it meant to exist with this man and to love this man. And now that's all dead. Um, yeah, the chrysanthemums, they do, if you've ever smelled, smelled chrysanthemums, they do have that older, um, I don't know exactly if this is the smell of chrysanthemums, but you know, when you go to a funeral home or when you go to a funeral, there's these flowers, the, the scent that they give, they give you a scent of eeriness, of, of death, of, it's not a sweet smell, it's a, it's an, eerie smell i don't know how to describe that but i've smelled certain flowers at funeral homes when i've been to a funeral homes that they put you all they make you feel unease and i think 
those are chrysanthemums. I'm not an expert on flowers, but I do believe the odor of chrysanthemums do leave this lingering feeling of uncomfortableness, of unease. And this work, it is uncomfortable. And there's a sense of unease, a sense of, oh man, what am I going to do next? Oh man, this is the man I used to make love with. Oh man, this is my former husband. Oh man, this is... How am I going to pay the bills? Oh, man. Like, what is life? Oh, man. Where is my existence? Oh, man. Like, this woman, she's just going through all these emotions and, and seconds and minutes and one night. And she has to protect her kids. She has to go through her grief. And the mother-in-law was there. The man's mother was there. And she, her, the, the mother had to go through her own set of feelings and emotions and ideas so this work is just it leaves so much on the table to examine about human emotions feelings the condition of living as a human and everything that you have to experience and it is not easy folks it is not easy um in terms of deeper meaning and analysis yeah this work leaves a lot to consider it leaves a lot to think about it leaves a lot to ponder about life mishap Things that happen out of nowhere, um, the loss of loved ones, what it means to lose a, a, a lover, uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, uh, the end of a marriage. Um, yeah, she has Elizabeth has some deep, deep, deep reflections about her life, um, and she even says to herself that. You know, when she realizes this is the body that she made her children with, this is the body that she made love to, this is the body that she shared a life with, how could this be the body? How could this be it? You know, well, you know, there, there is a huge difference. It's dead. And the man is dead. It's just a corpse. It's not the man that she married. It's just a corpse. But to realize that that person that you love deeply is now just a corpse, it's just... This is why so many people break down at funerals, because death is something that is, even though we know it's out there, when we have to face it head on, it is shocking. Yeah, it is absolutely shocking, and a lot of people don't know what to do about it. Uh, but yeah, that's my summary analysis of this work. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.